Hi, hello again. Well look, again as I said, fantastic, you're in session two. Um, and the first part of session two is finding your target market. Now again, how this come about is because when I, when I speak to a lot of businesses, when I'm doing workshops or, or whatever, consultations, whatever it may be, and I say to them, right, what's your target market? Well, they just kind of look at me and go, well, anyone. I just want to sell something, you know? Well, look, guys, that's no good. If you're going to be using social media or, you know, you're using the internet, um, you often hear things like keywords, keyword search and things like that. Now, if you don't know your target market, what hope have you got in attracting the right sort of customers? All you're going to be doing is spending hundreds, if not thousands of people, uh, thousands of pounds, or driving for miles, banging loads of doors. Well, look, the whole point of the internet is the fact you don't have to do that. But if you don't know your target market, you're not going to succeed. So what do I mean exactly by your target market? Well, look, as you may or may or know, uh, as you may already know, or you should do if you watch the first video, if I can get my words out. You know, I've got various different businesses. Um, so within one of my businesses, Digital Youth Enterprise, obviously our target market there is 16 to 24 year olds. Okay, but that's not good enough. 16 to 24 year olds. Uh, 16 to 24 year old people who are interested and looking to set up in business okay or 16 to 24 year olds that have already in business and they want um, some sort of mentoring or help or whatever but it's really really micro niche and looking down to your target market when we do workshops we don't just want to there's no point in us delivering a workshop say in Newcastle um, and then hitting a list of people that are in America What's the point? Okay, it defeats the object. You need to look at your target market. So let's just talk about that in a little bit more detail. What exactly do I mean? Well, again, let's go back to the golf instructor who I mentioned earlier. If you're a golf instructor and you're a left-handed golfer, so you've decided that your business is teaching left-handed golfers. Now, if you don't play golf, you might be thinking, well, what do you mean? That's not really a niche. Well, trust me, playing golf left-handed and playing golf right-handed is pretty, it's, it's difficult. I can't do it. I've been playing golf for years, okay? So let's just think, okay, I teach golfers how to play golf left-handed. I improve their swing. So if I do that and I'm, and I'm doing private lessons to teach people how to play golf, how to improve their swing, how to get their handicap lower or how to improve their short game, and it's all based around left-handed golfers, What's the point of me doing marketing, whether it be offline marketing, or what's the point of me doing an advert on Facebook, say, or Google, and me just generically searching for golfers? Okay, because there's probably not as many left-handed golfers as there are right-handed golfers. So let's just say I spend £100 uh, on an advert, say, on Facebook, for argument's sake, and I attract and generate a list a customer database or potential database of say 500 golfers. Well you might be thinking, well that's fantastic, you've got 500 potential customers here. No, it's not. Because if those 500 customers, let's say out of them, um, 400 of them were right-handed golfers, and I'm only teaching people how to improve their golf who play golf left-handed, it's a complete waste of money. Okay, you've still got a hundred customers there, but wouldn't it be better to know your target market and say, okay, I'm a golf coach. I teach people how to improve their game of golf, uh, or I, excuse me, I work with left-handed golfers to help them improve their game of golf. So when you're doing your keywords, when you're looking for your target market, you can put left-handed golfers. How to improve my golf, left-handed. How to get my handicap down as a left-handed golfer. Does that make sense? It's all about keywords and searching for your business, but identifying your target market. If you don't know your target market, you are going to waste thousands of pounds, okay? And the results won't happen. Well, they might, but they might not as happen. They might not happen as quickly. Okay? So really identify your target market. If you only want to hit clients or potential clients in a certain country, then look at that. 
Look at the demographic, the age group, the age category, where they live, what they do, what are their interests, what are their hobbies. Okay? So, yeah, a very short video again, is talking about your target market. Okay? Um, and it's, that's crucial, but it's very, very easy to do, but it's crucial. You need to look and find and establish what is your target market. So again, I hope you found that of some help, um, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.